Would you like to model these funny dogs? Here you have all the instructions step by step for you to learn. Let's start from a ball of cold porcelain without cracks. Separate the head from the body. First at the back. The head is smaller. The upper part is smaller than the body, the lower part. At the front, separate using your thumb the area of the face that it should be lower than the nape, the back of the neck. At the level of the head, press with both hands, leaving the area of the nose wider. Press with your thumb, creating a hollow that separates the forehead from the snout. Always working with the palm of your hands to prevent leaving marks, with the exception of the place where you separated the body from the head. Smooth the surface permanently with the palm of your hand. Now use a steel modeling tool to divide the head from the body. At the front, always erase hard edges with the palm of your hands or your thumb pressing firmly without fear. Now, with the same tool, draw a line in the middle of the nose and also define the base. The line we had previously done with a thinner modeling tool. Erase the hard edges with your fingertips. Softly. Each cheek must be round. Smooth both cheeks. With an even thinner steel modeling tool, draw the mouth and make a hole at each corner. Each corner will appear darker. Behind that hole, that corner, make a curve that will make the smile even funnier. Remember, always erase the hard edges with your finger. Erase all marks of the cold porcelain. Now we are going to make some wrinkles behind the snout at the level of eyes. Now, with a black watercolor pencil, make three small holes on each cheek, the whiskers. The coat porcelain must be fresh and the pencil must be a watercolor one to give color to the holes. For the nose, take a small portion of black porcelain and make a triangle. Glue it at the level of the dividing line between the eyes and the snout, pressing with the fingers, always erasing the marks. Now take white cold porcelain, make a small ball to give this touch to make the nose to appear wet. Put a smaller one next to the other and that gives the appearance of a wet nose. Now, take a small portion of brown color, a darker brown than the body, to make irregular shapes, to make spots, different shapes and different sizes. Irregular shapes. The gold porcelain must be fresh, really fresh. Where you want to stick a spot, get the area wet with a wipe. 
la toallita húmeda. Esto es para que no se separen, ¿no? que no se separen las manchitas. Así como Press with your finger esto, ejemplo, and place the spots in different parts of the body. En donde ustedes quieran que el perrito quede... Wet again with the wipe. Now, with a steel needle tool, mark the eyebrows. Draw intense lines in the upper zone of the eyebrow. They appear darker. Draw new lines, wrinkles at the necks, at the back of the head. Muy bien. Ahora, They are really nice. Very good. Now let's make the eyes. With a ball tool, make two hollows. Make them deep. Make an oval shape. Smooth the cold porcelain with your fingers. Ahora sí, vamos now, yes, look for the self-adhesive eyes and place them into the hollows. Put them in this position. It can be any model of self-adhesive eyes. Or you can use black pearls. Press the eyes deep, well deep. Now let's model the four legs. They are small. They are two tiers. Flat them on the sole. Two short tiers. They must be equal, of course. Glue them. Adding vinyl glue to the front of the body. One on one side, the other one on the other side. Let's stick them well, pressing with your fingers. Erase hard and marks always. Once you have glued them to the body, divide with a steel tool the toes and draw some lines on the forelegs. Now let's make the hind legs. Take a ball of cold porcelain and divide it into two. The upper part will become the thigh. Press this part against the palm of your hand. The other will become the foot. Make both hind legs equal. One left leg, the other the right hind leg. Add vinyl glue and stick the thigh to the body. Add both sides from the back, both thighs. Press them and also press the feet, getting them near the body. Both hind and fore legs have toes and folds. Let's continue adding spots to the fore legs exactly as we did in the body. Let's make the ears. Make two small tears without end. Press with a small finger, make a hollow, and make a pinch at one end. Take a portion of the darker brown, 
and make some spots on the ears, first one, then the other. Add vinyl glue at the pinch. And go to the figurine. Always clean your hands and attach the ears from behind. Well, now bend the ends only a bit. Try not to make both ears equal. It is funnier if they are different. Now let's make the tail. Make a tear a bit longer than the ears. Add vinyl glue to the base and make the dog sit on this tail. Give the tip of the tail some movements and the tail is ready. Now let's make the leash. Stretch a bit of cold porcelain of another color. In this case is blue. Cut a thin strip. Add vinyl glue to one end and stick it to the dog's neck. Start from the front, all around with covering the mouth. Cut the excess. Let's make a medal. It is a small bowl of dove. It can be white or grey, simulating metal. Add vinyl glue where there is the union. Draw a dot with the black watercolor pencil. For the tongue, let's make a very small pink tear and divide it at the middle and cut the end. Add vinyl glue at this place, but previously, with a metal tool, make a hole where the tongue will be placed. Press softly and there you have the tongue. Now let's color this dog. If the cold porcelain is fresh, use talcum powder to dry the cold porcelain. Common talcum. If the cold porcelain is fresh, the dust, the shades may stain the piece. We need the piece to be dry. Use dark brown to create depth, a bit darker than the color we use for the dog body. Use, use this color wherever there are marks, around the eyes, the cheeks, the eyebrows, even the mouth. First we are going to use brown and then we are going to use darker colors in all marks and wrinkles, even in the toes. With a brush of soft hair, coloring the piece 
must be soft and delicate. Little by little, try not to stain the piece. Now take a thinner brush to use black color and dark the upper part of each eye. The eyes seem bigger. Well, with a bit of black, paint the corners of the mouth, not the whole mouth, only paint the corners of the mouth and also the opening of the mouth. Now, take a strong and lively pink color. Little by little, give color to the cheeks, as if they were healthy cheeks. The cheeks, the tongue, inside the ears and also on the tip of the toes as you like as you choose here you can see the dog in other colors dark brown it can be pink for a girl and the original one they are gorgeous. And with the same structure, you can model a hippo, a seal. I added a longer tail, but it is exactly the same shape. The two flippers are two tear shapes too. A reindeer, the same body. The two legs, the hooves, the bell and the horns. The base is exactly the same. 